In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how I made this soft sculpture of toast with jam. If you make your own soft sculpture, I'd like to see your original idea. There are many possibilities for sculptures that you could make, like food items or everyday household objects. Before I did anything with fabric, I created a pattern on paper of the size and shape of the toast. Then the next step is to cut it out. After I made a pattern, I selected the fabric I thought would best represent the color of bread. I folded the fabric in half so I had two layers. Next, I traced the pattern on the fabric with a pencil. After tracing, I cut out the shape that I traced. For the next step, I turned the layers inside out. It did not matter with this fabric if I did this or not because the fabric is the same on both sides, but if you have fabric that is two different sides, you will need to turn it inside out. Now for the sewing part. You will need to get a sewing needle that corresponds with your table number and scissors and thread. You may want to choose a color that will not show up against your fabric color. I chose a color that will show up against the white fabric so you're able to see how I sew. Thread the needle and tie a double knot so it doesn't come loose when you're sewing. Next, tie a knot at the end of the thread so it doesn't come out of the fabric. An easy way to do this is to wet your finger, wrap the thread around your finger, and twist the thread into a knot. Now you're ready to sew. Watch how I put the needle through the fabric on the edge, allowing some space between the edge of the fabric and the seam. I then put the needle directly back through to the front and pull the thread all the way through to the knot. The next stitch should be close to where the last one came out. If you keep your stitches small and close together, you'll avoid having gaps in the material. Continue this around the edge of the fabric, but don't sew it closed. You will need to leave an opening. If you run out of thread, do not let the thread get shorter than your finger because you'll want to be able to tie it. This is how you tie it so the sewing will not come undone. Put the needle through a tiny part of the fabric. Pull the thread so you have a small loop. Put the needle through the loop and pull. Do this one more time to double knot. Now it's safe to cut your needle off of the thread and you know that your sewing will not come undone because it's knotted. Rethread your needle and continue to sew until you have a small opening to be able to stuff the soft sculpture and don't forget to tie a knot at the end. The next step is to turn the fabric right side out again and begin stuffing the sculpture. To fill the sculpture with stuffing, break the stuffing into smaller pieces instead of shoving one large piece into the sculpture. Spread the smaller pieces apart to evenly distribute. When you have the amount of stuffing that you want, it is time to sew up the opening. Fold the edges of the fabric inside and sew it up. Remember to tie a knot so your sewing does not come undone. Make a loop and pull the thread through that loop and double knot. Then you can cut off the needle. Please return the needle to the fiber studio every day you work in that studio. Please do not leave your needle attached to your project.